Hello YouTube, this is Dazza the Cameraman. Today is Sunday, July 23rd, 2017. And this is a quick follow-on to my last video about the All Sky cameras and the auto downloader that I'm using to capture a continuous sequence from these cameras. Now this is called Sequence Download and you can use it to continuously capture the images from sites such as this, allskycamera.com so that instead of just having a series of six images, you'll have a continuous sequence. You can leave your computer running and have a full 24-hour sequence of images if you wish. And in this video, I'm going to step through and show you how to set it up. You'll also find a link in the description area where you can download Sequence Download. And this is the website here from Nursoft and again you'll find the link in the description area. You can set it up to capture any of these uh, webcams. It's not suitable for all webcams but it's certainly suitable for the all sky cameras and this is the the one that we were just looking at. You can see the data there. It does take a little bit of setting up. You've got to put in the internet URL for the image. I'll just show you how that's done. So if we go to the All Sky camera, and I pause that, okay, we can go right click and open image in a new tab. Now when I do that, here is the image, we've got this URL up here, and we can copy that URL into the sequence downloader. URL file name, we would put that in this field here. You need to set up a download name for it, you can call it anything you like, and you also need to set up a download folder. You would want to have a separate folder for each webcam. So you can see that I've got a directory set up here, so it's on my G drive. I've got a folder called All Sky Cameras. Um, where I've got a selection of, of different types of all sky cameras. Then I've got a folder specifically for allskycamera.com and then I've got a folder for the specific uh, webcam which is this one here. Now I've also set this to display uh, year, month, day, hours and minutes. You can select any combination there and you can also select a prefix for your file name and uh, once you've got that set up then it will automatically download the image for the interval that you've set. Now if the images are only updated say every 10 minutes it won't download an image until there is a fresh image there so you're not going to get a whole lot of uh, spurious images that you don't need. So here is the folder that I've got for this specific webcam. Here are all the, the captures uh, that I showed you uh, just before. Step through those. And uh, if I step up, then you can see the different um, webcams, the folders for the different webcams that I've got saved there. Now currently in the program here, I don't have all of those webcams listed. Um, but I have got the folders set up if I want to capture for those um, webcams. Now something I also strongly recommend that you do once you've got this set up is go into the program file folder on your computer which uh, you'll find here I've got on my C drive program files Nursoft sequence download and in this folder you will find this downloads.ini file and this is a copy of the configuration settings for everything that you've set up. Now what I recommend you do is that you copy that file and you set up a backup configuration file folder. Just create that folder in there and copy that downloads.ini in there. I have found a couple of times that the sequence downloader has crashed on me and all of my settings have disappeared which was very frustrating because of the time that it can take. If you've got a number of webcams 
set up and uh, if you haven't backed this up then that will disappear if you save a copy of this then at least if it disappears from this folder or if it's corrupted in any way at least you have a backup copy all you need to do is copy that out paste it back here and all of your settings will be restored so that is sequence download i'll provide a link in the description area in case you want to use that program yourself it is a free program thank you for visiting my channel please be sure to subscribe for further discussion please check out my facebook discussion page voices of reason to explain x or vortex you'll find a link in the description area if you'd like to support my work you'll find a paypal link on the about tab of my channel your support will be most appreciated. Thank you for watching.